Okay, well that made a great big mess. Got water all over the floor, got more on the floor than in the bucket. So now what am I going to do? Hello everybody, so I guess you guys remember this summer I put a uh, stop leak in here and just put water in because I figured I was going to drain it out before I hooked up the uh, heater core. So well it's getting to be winter so it's, I guess it's time that I drain the radiator. I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably drop the lower radiator hose. I'll just have to find a bucket and maybe raise this up a little bit, put it in the air, drop the lower radiator hose and call it a day, huh? So, I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, so now I've loosened up that clamp, moved it out of the way, and now I'm going to uh, remove the hose and... Hopefully it'll all drain into that bucket. Okay, well that made a great big mess. Got water all over the floor, got more on the floor than in the bucket. So now what am I going to do? Need to do something to try to mop it up. Okay, well I'm going to try to clean this mess up, talk to you in a bit. Okay. So now most of the water is drained out of there. And my next step is to uh, cut this uh, heater hose in half and then string it over here to the heater core. Uh, but since my hands are a little busy, I think, you know, it's fairly obvious how to do that. So uh, that's what I'm doing next. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, so which hose goes where? So it looks like the inlet hose goes to the bottom on the cowl and the outlet hose goes to the top on the cowl. So the top one goes to the bottom and the bottom one goes to the top. So that's the way the book says to do it. So just to let you guys know, that's kind of how that's supposed to be set up. Okay. Okay, so now most of the water is drained out of there. And my next step is to uh, cut this uh, heater hose in half and then string it over here to the heater core. Uh, but since my hands are a little busy, I think, you know, it's fairly obvious how to do that. So uh, that's what I'm doing next. Talk to you in a bit. Well, hello everybody. So, uh, the last uh, step was to drain the engine so that I could put antifreeze in it for the winter. Uh, things have warmed up a little bit here today and I've been pretty busy with work. So, you know, I've been kind of blowing this off for a while. 
But now we've gotten to the point where Sandy wants me to change oil in her car. So I guess I need to put antifreeze back in here so I can back this out of the shop and make room to change oil in her car. So I'm going to put the lower radiator hose on, and find the lower radiator hose clamp, and get it in position. Come on. We can do it. I need to loosen that up a bit more. Came off easy, but now it's gonna be in a bit difficult to get back on. Come on. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Maybe I was tightening, huh? Well, that would make it more difficult, wouldn't it? Wow, oh, there we go. There we go. Switch over to Titan mode now. Tight enough, I think. I hope. All right, so that got the lower radiator hose back on. Next step is to do the heater core, or heater hoses. Uh, what did I find out? I found out that uh, the upper goes to the lower, and the lower goes to the upper. So I'll be back in a few minutes. I need to find uh, the hose clamps. Be back in a bit. Okay, guess what I found? I found hose clamps. So, now we can move forward on hooking up the hoses. Of course, I didn't find the right size wrench, so give me a few minutes. I'll be back. Okay, so the problem I have run into is that I need to replace this heater hose because it's a little short. Uh, just what I ran out of. And the other problem is, is I put this hose clamp in in a way that I can no longer get onto it. So, lesson learned. Make sure you can get on these things when you put the brackets on. So I got to remove the alternator. I'm 
bracket. And I probably should loosen that up too. And of course they're two different sizes. Yep. And what am I doing? Why am I spending so much effort when I got tools to do this? So let me grab that. And that's loose. I got to take this other one off. Ooh, and there's a washer, so don't lose that. Now I can get on that uh, that bolt. Which means, uh, if I was smart, I would uh, get me another little adapter thingy, or just switch over to 3 8 and be done with it, huh? Now I should be able to, that's not 3 8 It's not a quarter. There's only one in the middle there, five sixteenths. Ah, there we go. Alright, so let's take this hose off. So that should be loosened up sufficiently. Let go. Come on. There it comes. All right. So that hose I'm done with. Here's my new hose. And this time I want to put the clamp so I can get onto it with the alternator bracket in place. So, we'll put it right about yay, and we'll switch that to tighten. All right, that's on there good and tight. Now I need to put back my alternator, which means this bolt. Ooh, that ain't good. Now that I got the bracket on here, I can't even see that. So. <laughs> Trust but verify, huh? Okay, so back to what we were doing. Loosen. And here, let's disconnect that. And whoop, tight, not loosen. Now, if I have a nut runner, can I get on it? I should be able to get on it like that. So, if I need to, I have a way on. And put the bracket back on here for the alternator. Oh yeah, that's much better. I can get that to start threading again. Hey, get on there, buddy.
There it goes. All right. There's that. Let's snug that down. Okay. Now we go back to the alternator. The charger whirler. I don't think it really even moved, but we'll give it a little torque. All right. And just for giggles, let's. Tidy. No, tidy. The other way. The other tidy. two hoses coming off of here the lower one I was reading in the book the one coming from the bottom goes to the top so this one's coming off the bottom it goes into the top here oh, what am I forgetting you guys got to remind me Maybe I need to put one of these on there, huh? I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it so that it's nice and easy to get to in case it's needed. And need to take this hose and cut it off a little bit shorter because I don't need that much hose. Oops, sorry guys. Let's see. Do I got enough? I think right about there is good. Oh, keep open you guys. Oh, there we go. that away for safekeeping. Now this one, I'm probably going to have it coming in from the other way, off the bottom. So that one will go on like so. Now, we snug them up. One. I think that's two. All right, I didn't let's make sure I didn't pull that too tight. No, I think water should be. Yeah. That top one, I'm going to back off just a hair. It could probably use a little bit more space. Let's back it up to there. That way it's not so tight. All right. Now the hoses should flow freely. Uh, don't let me forget, I need to hook the temperature sensor back up again, which is right here. And there you have it. Now we got to put uh, antifreeze back in this thing. So, uh, antifreeze is way over there, so I'm going to have to mix up 
a couple gallons and then see if uh, I got everything. So talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so now I have one gallon of mixed antifreeze. Uh, basically, I had to take find a jug that was a gallon, and then I put half of it in here. Now I need to add this to the radiator. Make sure it's not leaking. Making noises. All right, there's one gallon in. And there's already water sitting in the radiator. So, I'm going to go mix up another gallon. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll be back in another minute. Okay, so the next step is to get this thing warmed up so that the thermostat can open up and start circulating antifreeze through the entire block and through the heater core so i also need to whoa not good uh, gotta remember <laughs> that uh that thing <laughs> is smoking can't leave the ignition on while i am talking to you guys I got to either have it running or off otherwise that thing will burn up so uh, just to leave you guys out of this I'm just going to get this thing warmed up uh, top it off the radiator make sure it all burps and uh, that'll be about it so oh and turn on the heater core to make sure that uh, the antifreeze is circulating through the whole system. All right, I'll talk to you when I'm done. Bye.
Okay, I've ran out of mana freeze, and it still needs more, so time to mix another batch. And I need my funnel. Just gonna top it off. Let me go mix up the other half. Or if I need my funnel. That's about as far as I can go for now. Let's start it back up and clean her.
right, I think I got everything topped off now. Um, there's still a little bit of the coolant, sealant, or whatever in there. Boiling over a little bit. I tried to catch some of it down here. But uh, it's going over pretty good now. Um, but I think I got it burped. And so now I just need to put the radiator cap back on it. And go fiddle around with it a little bit. Maybe take it back out and wash things up a little bit. So uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.